Hello, welcome to previous day tutor. In this video, we will look at acids and bases. We know that an acid is a substance that produces hydrogen ions when dissolved in water. So a substance that when you put in water, so this is water, at the end of the day is going to give what to call hydrogen ions as the only positively charged ions. All right. So these are the only positive charged ions that are produced whenever this substance called an acid is dissolved in water. Now without mm, waste much of our time, let's look at some examples of acids. Some common examples of acids we have are hydrochloric acid, we've got sulfuric acid, we have nitric acid, and we've got many more ethanoic acid now when you look at them properly they both they all have what an acid in them and sorry they all have a hydrogen atom in them for hydrochloric acid there is hydrogen there for sulfuric acid you have hydrogen there for nitric acid you have hydrogen there and for ethanoic acid we have hydrogen there don't confuse with that hydrogen we are taking this hydrogen so that during what you call ionization of these acids the hydrogen from here can be evolved at the end of the reduction now whenever when you dissolve this uh, uh, compound known as acid in water in water it undergoes what you call ionization or disassociation and as, as a result this hydrogen will be formed on this side as the only positive ion and there will be also a chlorine one ion there which is being deassociated during the deassociation now when you look at this it's only one atom of hydrogen that is being formed therefore hydrochloric acid we call it a mono acid so we call it a mono basic acid this is what we call basicity all right so basicity is the maximum number of hydrogen atoms that can be produced whenever an acid undergoes ionization. Let's look at sulfuric acid. Sulfuric acid has the formula this, and during this association, we're going to discover that two hydrogen atoms are going to be evolved. All right, and we are going to have a sulfate ion there as a negative charge with a negative charge so we've got two atoms of hydrogen ions that are being produced so this we call it di basic acid now there are to call strong acids these are acids which completely ionize in water examples are hydrochloric acid sulfuric acid and nitric acid these are examples of strong acids we have weak acids These are acids which partially ionize in water. Examples of these acids are 
we have ethanoic acid, methanoic acid, butanoic acid, all those are examples of weak acids. Let's look at characteristics of acids. One, acids, they have a sour taste. Number two, acids are they are very hazardous in such a way that they they cause irritation whenever spilled on your body. They are corrosive. They can react with anything which they come in, in contact with. For example, when you put it, when you spill acid on a cloth, a piece of cloth, I don't know the day you're going to find that the piece of cloth has been eaten up. That is what to call corrosive. Acids react with bases or alkalines to form a salt and water. For example, we can say hydrochloric acid plus sodium hydroxide as a base. They're going to form sodium chloride plus water. So these are the main two products that we are interested in. Number five, we are saying acids react with carbonates. Carbonates to form carbon dioxide. For example, you can say hydrochloric acid plus calcium carbonate is going to form calcium chloride plus plus water plus carbon dioxide so these are the main products when a, an acid react with a carbonate carbon dioxide is evolved there and in some experiment and in, in some test you'll be required to do an identity test for carbon dioxide to prove that the gas that has been produced is actually carbon dioxide let's look at bases a base is a substance which produces hydroxide ions when dissolved in water as the only negatively charged ions so they produce what we call an hydroxide ion which is a combination of oxygen and hydrogen as the only negatively charged ion now when you look at a base it's, it's different from an acid an acid produces a hydrogen ion which is the only positive ion while a base or an alkaline produces hydroxide as the only negative charged ion what are strong bases Strong bases, these are bases which completely ionize in water to form an oxide ion. So they completely ionize in water to form an oxide ion. For example, sodium hydroxide, when you put in water, it ionizes to sodium and hydroxide ion as the only negative charged ion. Weak bases 
this they partially ionize in water to form hydroxide ions for example ammonia is a weak base or weak alkaline that when put in water it forms an ammonium ion and an hydroxide ion there so thank you so much don't for, don't forget to subscribe don't forget to share i'm previous the tutor i'll see you in the next video that will be talking about preparation of sorts thank you